Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Women's March that I attended on January 20th, 2018 in Lawrence, Kansas. I had so much fun. It was amazing just going out to see different people. Uh, it wasn't just women there, there were men. Um, people came with their husbands, people brought their sons, people brought their daughters, people brought their dogs. Um, there is just tons of good footage I'm gonna show you after this little intro, but I just want you guys to just see and listen to the chants, read the posters because that's what stood out the most to me. It was just good. It was just a feel good thing. You really would have to be there. I encourage you that if a woman march comes up in your area to go. Um, they gave us tons of information about organizations that are there for women who want to run in politics, women who want to start businesses, women who want to, um, you know, stand up at their job but they're just scared that they'll be fired or um, have some type of repercussion. Tons of good information, but please watch these uh, shots. Please watch these Snapchats that I'm going to upload. All of these things so that you guys can get somewhat of the feel of what it was like to attend the Women's March. So. Even if you're Existed, just like this friendship and this one and this one, each made of cedar and wind and the long talk at dusk, lukewarm coffee we laugh at, we drink anyway because it makes us laugh, or a long nap on her couch in the middle of December when I didn't know where else to go, so I went to her with my tattered heart to say, please gather me up, and she did. I will never be afraid of the mirror she is or holds up and the real life beyond that mirror when we get in her car and we drive for the love of motion. You want to be on camera? Thank you. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Say hi. <laughs> Shirley, Chisholm, Shirley Chisholm once said, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. When we, <laughs> when we picture this table, we're picturing boardrooms, courtrooms, women deciding a seat, ascending to the highest seat of government, industry, and also educational institutions. Women who are so close to the top that knocking down these barriers are actually, actually a possibility. of women only to not represent all women after they get there. When I say all women, I'm talking about women of color, poor women, trans women, lesbians, women who speak softly, and women who their fight for equality may come off as combative and make you uncomfortable. You have to fight for those women too. If I may go a little further, if, this, if you don't have a seat at the table and the folding chair gets a little uncomfortable, you might have to build your own table. We are seeing organizations get created across this country that are helping women build their own tables in hopes to one day have a comfortable actual seat at the table. Organizations like Black Girls Vote in Baltimore that help black women actually get registered to vote have a voice in the democratic process. Organizations like Emily's List that's helping women, progressive women run for office. Office like Emerge who are educating women on how they can run for office so that they, when they are running, they can actually win. But let me reiterate, if you use these groups to catapult yourself to the top and then you don't set a place to, next to you for another woman, or even worse, you erase the efforts of the women before you only to take all the credit, please do not join this table. 
Lastly, I would be irresponsible if I did not recognize the women who will never see the ceiling because they are not going to be that high. Women who, just speaking up in their workplace, is actually taking their folding chair and getting their seat at the table. Women who, the, the lone woman who goes to city commission meetings and say, hey, we have a trend of regressive taxes in this city. That's not right. Her voice is her seat at the table. The woman who's a trans woman who walks down that street only to get stares and to be treated uncomfortable, her living her truth, that's her seat at the table. Thank you very much for listening to me and applauding, I guess. And uh, <laughs> thank you to the organizers and thank you to all you guys for being here today. Movements like this is what's gonna help us win in 2018. If you're not registered to vote, don't register to vote. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Thank you. Get on what Over to 2,000 people. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Glad you did. <laughs> All right, ladies.